guys, looking to clock out dandy needles for the final time when it comes to Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. No, I am not breaking down the second season, guys. Yes, the second season was announced as I literally just finished this episode. I won't break it down, but I will probably check it out in my spare time. It's just a lot of effort going into making videos and I do really want to produce reviews that are energetic, hyper, happy. I don't like really slamming down on shows. It upsets me guys as well because I did have high hopes for the show. Before we do get going, do make sure you guys are subscribed and check out the spring review. It is currently out and it took me ages. There are four new animes coming to the channel. Technically they are all prequels. They're all shows that I can really rely on. Sadly, I'm going to have to admit, as soon as Bridget kissed Shal, I basically just stopped marking. I got writing up to about halfway and then I just couldn't do it anymore. So I'm just going to give a off script review in general with this show. It is their last review, so I normally give you guys my mark. As soon as that sequence with Bridget and Shal hit, I lowered them up by a whole score. I gave it a 5 out of 5. It was coming in about 6 for me and then that happened and then I just had to lower it. I couldn't do it. As always in true Sugar Apple Fairy Tale style is more bad stuff happened. Lots of bad stuff continued to happen regardless and again it doesn't feel like any justice is given out despite the fact that Sammy gets brought to justice but I know the guy tries to apologise to the king but there's never any justice given out at all. Despite the fact that you are royalty, this guy's just caused this uproar doesn't really feel like you care that much. The crowd as well, one minute booing and hissing her, telling her to go away, the next minute she wins and they are all on her side. Literally giving me just whiplash watching the show. The animation is still gonna be up there in the tens for me. Sadly, everything else is gonna be in the zeros. I had high hopes. Episode three, it started to sink. I think perhaps maybe they dealt with it too quickly. I don't know if the show has been rushed. I'm trying not to be harsh because I know that adaptations aren't always faithful to the source material and I don't know know what the source material on this one's like. I've been put off going to check it out. There's a lot of other stuff going on at the moment that I'm more interested in that I think I enjoy more. This hasn't been a good watching for me. It's a romance anime but I feel constantly irritated, angry all the time. So there's a lot of different romance animes out there that I could equally go watch and feel pretty much happy or at least bothered a little bit but then happy again at the end. But nothing resolves and the fact that they committed to a bad ending, hats off to you. You knew you were going to get a second season. That's the only reason you've done that. You would never have committed to a bad ending if you knew you were just dropping it. It's just irritating to me because there's shows I really want season twos for. Stuff like this gets a season two and the score is pretty much plummeting on Mal anyway. There's been a lot of interesting characters. There's a lot of interesting premises. We could have even brought the Duke back. That would have been fun because you don't technically know what's happened to him. Shal has been forced back into slavery. He didn't have a choice. He's back again with Bridget. Bridget's just an awful, awful character. And maybe I should just change my hate from Jonas to Bridget. To, I'm not going to tell you anything because I want you and I'm going to have you in slavery and I must have you and I'm going to kiss you despite the fact you don't want it. This show may be angry, guys. I'm sorry. I don't like doing negative breakdowns. It's not what we're here for. It's I want to break down shows with you guys, give me happy, have conversations about it. But I'm really about, just about done with the show. I don't really want to even think about season two at the moment because season two irritates me. Some of the shows that I really enjoy, I know they're not going to get greenlit. I am done. It's getting a five out of five. I know you guys wanted me to see it through. I have seen it through. I just couldn't write any more after that sequence. It's done. I'm going to move on to some happier shows anyway. We've got a lot of cool things coming our way. In about a week's time I am bringing out my end of season review where I'm going to be crowning some fun awards, my top three animes, so anime that hasn't let me down. Be moving into four new animes on the channel, mainly returning shows so do check out the spring breakdown. Thank you guys so much, I really am sorry from the bottom of my heart if you felt sad by my reviews or my reviews have upset you because you've enjoyed them. That is fine, everybody has their own opinion. This is still simply my opinion. My opinion doesn't mean anything at the end of the day. I think I'm starting to really realized that I like a lot of shows that other people don't so that probably means I've got really crap taste in anime. My crap taste is telling me that this show just wasn't for me. Thank you guys so much. I hope you guys are okay and not angry at me. I will hopefully see you guys again next season but if not thank you so much for your continued support and I hope maybe one day in the future you will tune in again for a breakdown of mine. Have a good day guys. Bye bye.